Obviously, you've got the Sackler escalators that run in Tate Modern. Would you rename, would you think about changing that whole idea of benefactors? Mm -hmm. Well, we have a very wide range of benefactors that come um, from um, all of different kinds of industries and from all over the world. Um, and we have received money from the Sacklers in the past, um, before anyone was aware of, uh, of any of the issues that the, the National Portrait Gallery has been looking at um, in relation to their donation. And so the question of where our resources come from is something that is always considered at Tate by an ethics committee that's made up of an independent um, group of people as well as our trustees. But ultimately, our trustees make a decision case by case. So would you say that Tate would never take money from Sackler again? At the present time, we're not in any discussion with the, uh, with the foundation about receiving a gift. But you wouldn't? And our trustees at the, m at the moment are minded um, not to accept one. You gave a lecture to students last year and you said that um, culture is always political. Mm -hmm. That means, in a sense, if you extrapolate from that, that the Tate has to be political in the way it approaches things. Yeah, small p political. Art collections were originally founded by kings and queens and princes and then by wealthy collectors and it was only later that they came to be formed for the public and with the support of public money. So um, art, whether it chooses to or not, operates in a context by which it's, it's political in the cultural political sense. So how do you deal, deal with that during Brexit? I mean, where is the cultural relevance here for a Brexit world? Well, Tate's collection from its very foundation was European as well as British. It was founded by artists who worked in Europe and then came to London. We are about to open Van Gogh and London. People might say, why, why Van Gogh here? Because he lived here. And the influence on him, the influence of London on his work, was really fundamental for the rest of his career. It's very interesting what you were saying about 33 different nationalities working at Tate. Because my assumption would be that actually that's something that you, you like to have that mm. international feel. And if people don't feel welcome anymore, yeah. they'll go somewhere else. Mm. Yeah. And maybe you'll have British people doing this job. Absolutely. I mean, we are an international art museum which means that we have works from uh, Russia, from uh, Latvia, we have works from Spain, from Portugal, from Greece, from all over the world. And so in order to have the, the curatorial expertise and the language facility to be able to work internationally, we want to need uh, um, employees that, that reflect that world. On that question of culture, cu cultural connection, I think it would be fair to say that most artists, many artists, would favour remaining in Europe. They'll be remainers. Mm -hmm. But actually, we know 52% of the population who voted, at least, are not. So we are showing the wonderful ferryman painting at the moment in Oldham, um, which was a leave voting uh, town close to a remain voting city in Manchester. We will find divergent contexts, of course, but the important thing about art is that it rarely tells you what to think. It encourages you to think and explore the world. And I think that's very important in this quite divided political environment. And to that regard, is there a way that you can kind of subliminally have a more international message? Because I know you're a Remainer, and I'm sure a lot of people, as you say, who work as artists, or I say as work as artists, is there a subliminal way that you can push that message of internationalism? Well, I mean, as a public servant, um, I hold my role without political view. And I feel it's very important that uh, a, an institution like Tate actually is able to listen to the, uh, the climate of opinion in the country, divided as it is. And, and I think that offers a, a quite unique role for us. People will remember, though, of course, before you came to Tate, uh, because they weren't afraid to express your personal and political views before Tate, you retweeted a poster of Nigel Farage with the world gobshite on it. You don't do that nowadays. Um, I think my Twitter account's not very active at the moment, um, and, and I'm afraid that one's such a long time ago, I'm not quite sure I remember doing it.